We're all used to seeing bike paths in cities that run alongside the traffic, maybe on an old railway line or by a river. And they're pretty cool, but there are some that are just pure wild. So I thought I'd go through a list of all those wild ones, and I reckon by the end of this video, a lot of them are gonna hit your bucket list. Let's kick off with this one. This is the Shimano Mikado bike path. Now, if you ask me, this one is pretty amazing. This is a bike path that links multiple islands all by way of modern bridge built back in 1999. It starts off in the Honshu Onomichi city and makes its way all the way across to Chicago in the Imbaburi city. Now, bear with me on those names. My Japanese is not my strong point. But if you ask me, these are some of the most breathtaking views you can get on a bike. And it's not just the views that you can enjoy and absolutely love. This bike path is also designed for bike riders in mind, meaning those steep gradients just aren't there. So you've got this really nice flowing and easily accessible route through those islands. Yes, this one is definitely on my bucket list. Um, on that note, Sai, yeah, I've got another challenge for me. Yeah, Japan. Yeah, well, I'll work on that one. From blue skies and idyllic tranquil seas and tropical weather, we hit this city. This one is in Copenhagen in Denmark. And if you ask me, this is not just a bike path actually, this is a work of art. Now as we know, Copenhagen is at the sharp end of urban infrastructure. And I guess I can see exactly why. Now this is not just a bike path that creates easy access to otherwise inaccessible areas, but this is also a bike path that creates memorable and enjoyable riding. And look at it. I mean, if you ask me, not only does it feel good under rubber, but it also looks good from above. This bike path even won an award at the Danish Design Icon Award. It's 220 meters along the bridge and it creates easy access because of the good gradients as well for pedestrians and bicycle riders. And if you ask me, just for the look of it and the artistic nature of it, I think it deserves a place on this very list. Now moving from 220 meter bike pass to a whopping 7,050 kilometer cycle route. Yes, this is of course the North Sea cycle route and it does exactly what it says on the tin. It borders the North Sea all around from the Shetland Islands all the way to Norway, passing through Scotland, England, France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany, Denmark, Sweden and ending in Norway. Yes, as I said earlier, this whopping 7,050 kilometer route takes in every bit of terrain imaginable. All the way from those beautiful heather hills, the UK's coastline, those perfectly maintained Danish cycle paths, and ending with those draw dropping 1,000 meter cliffs in Norway. I guess everywhere you stop will be the chance to take an inspirational picture. Your cameras and your phone storage will be absolutely maxed out on this ride. And if Sai asked me to do this all in a day, I will say near impossible. But over a couple of months, well, that would be something I'd be keen for. Now downsizing slightly, this is a local favorite for those based in the UK. Situated in the south, this one is quite the cycle route. It's 100 miles, 160 kilometers long, with a punchy 3,800 meters of climbing. You will need an off-road bike, so a gravel bike would be absolutely perfect because the majority of this route is off-road. The route is absolutely littered with picturesque views and idyllic areas for picnic stops. So it's perfect if you kind of want to escape the hustle and bustle of the city life and go and do a 100 mile ride away from all that stress. So uh, yeah, I might be heading down today actually. Hmm. The longest recreational trail in the world lies in Canada, or should I say across the entire width of Canada. Yeah, this spans across 13 territories and provinces by 27,000, yes, 27,000 kilometers of trail. Now to give you a sense of the scale of it, four out of five Canadians live just 30 minutes 
from the trail. This trail was designed for hikers, bikers, and uh, oh no, it doesn't rhyme, horse riders. And if you ask me, this one is definitely on my bucket list. I just don't reckon I'll get 20,000 kilometers of time to be able to ride it, unfortunately, but fingers crossed, one can hope. On the other side of the globe now, the Alps to Ocean is situated in the beautiful country of New Zealand. Now this trail encompasses everything New Zealand is about. Those high mountains, that incredible countryside, beautiful rivers, and it winds all the way down to the ocean and the Pacific coast. This trail is good for all abilities, split into different sections that you can do from 24 kilometers all the way to 50 kilometers and longer. This is definitely, if you're heading to New Zealand and you're a bike rider, this is definitely something you're going to have to check out and send me a picture because I want to go with you. Absolutely incredible trail. And uh, yeah, if you ask me, one of my favorites. That's it for my list of incredible and wild bike paths and trails. Is there one that I've missed that you think deserves to be on this list? Then let me know in the comment section below. So, I, yeah, I've got, I've, I've got a plan. Well, I've got some more epics. 27,000 27, kilometers in Canada and then take me to Japan across the islands and then we'll do the North Coast route. Yeah, it's only, it's only 7,500 kilometers long. Not in a day, no.